<laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to JOJ. This is April 24th. 24th. April 24th, <laughs> yep. Closing out the month of April here and our word worship. So thank you all, all for, for watching, and uh, it's been a, been a fun month. Mm -hmm. I, yes. I do enjoy April and Easter and all the things that I'm... Um, He's trying not to say turkey hunting. I, I really wasn't like, even thinking it. probably were. Truly wasn't, yeah. I will, but I wasn't. His eyes said, I truly enjoy April. Then he's meaning turkey hunting. Oh, okay. Well, you said it, not me. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Anywho. Yep. Um, but our, our topic for this final... Um, final week of the month is about our worship is going to the right places and that we are not worshiping you know the wrong things that we're not putting stuff in front of God um, you know and, and our focus isn't in a, in a place where it should not be so uh, a couple of our verses um, Leviticus 26 verse 1 says not to make idols or set up an image or a sacred stone for yourselves and do not place a carved stone in your land to bow down before it I am the Lord your God. And then Exodus 34, 14 says, Do not worship any other God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Um, there's a lot of, and you know, there's a commandment, you know, to worship, to, to love the Lord your God and serve no other gods. A um, lot of, you know, a lot of verses in the Bible that really reference, um, you know, not to not to worship, whether it's idols or, you know, other, other mm -hmm. things that, uh, that, we are to worship the Lord God yeah, only. That's it. Yeah. Um, you know, especially, and I'm going to give the definition of an idol. Okay. Um, it is anything that is greatly admired, loved, or revered. And then, you know, just kind of like an idol can be a living thing or it can be an object. Um, and, and I think it's so easy. I mean, I think sometimes we think of, of idol and people automatically go to like some big statue or something mm -hmm. that people, you know, are praying to or, you know, worshiping. Um, but it actually can be so many other things. Yeah. Um, it basically any, anything that is distracting you and keeping you from having God as number one is an idol. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and whether you are, you know, I think two people think like the physical action of worshiping, um, you know, so if they're spending all their time over here doing, I don't know, video games or, or work life or whatever, and that's their number one, they don't consider that worshiping in. Yeah. I, you know, I, like I don't worship my job or I don't worship my activity, whatever it is I love to do. Yeah. I, I think if, if they... Like you reference video game. If they don't go up before their TV and get down on their knees <laughs> and say, "Oh, I love you, TV. I love you," yeah. you know that the, the, they're not <laughs> actually worshiping it. Yes, <laughs> but if it is becoming before God, then, right. then they are. It's yeah. an idol in their life. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, there's just several places throughout the Bible that talks about that, and I think that goes, you know, it all ties in together. We've talked about it before of having. Um, you know, of not having anything or, or having your priorities. I was trying to think of what the word was. <laughs> of having your priorities in in order yeah. because, you know, if you're you're not worshiping God first and if God's not first in your life, then it, it just slowly, you know, the devil can seep in mm -hmm. and then that's where it all goes in. So it, you know, all falls back under of not worshiping the wrong idol or yeah. worshiping the wrong things or not allowing things to overcome that. Yes. Um, and that, you know, Jenny's saying of, of worshiping, um, you know, finding something else that we're focusing on that much and, and that we're worshiping. And, and if we were to get that out of, out of context or out of order or out of, out of place in our life, those aren't always necessarily bad things. No, you know, I no. mean, it can be something that is, that is not a bad thing, but when when it when you shift it out of line, mm -hmm. that's when that becomes truly, um, you know, truly an issue of, of where your worship is, is focused, yes. and that God is then not um, God is then not mm -hmm. in the place where He is, you know, He is supposed Lord to be in our life. Number one, mm -hmm. yes. And another thing I think we can question is is people wonder like, how do you you know worship all all week long, yeah. how are, you know, just mm -hmm. not in a church building or not quiet at home. Um, and I think it all goes back to having a, a mindset of worshiping. Like, I know I try really, I mean, and I fail, um, the kids will tell you, um, of, of just trying to have 
and you know some people might say it's just like a positive mindset but a just kind of a I want to say more like a thankful mindset like you know you're in a bad situation and you know you're stuck in traffic or whatever um of just having that okay well this is a moment like we can take this moment and you know is God trying to tell us something or speaking to us is there a conversation we should be having Mm -hmm. just I, I try to always go back to okay like you know get my mind mind right of you know what whatever's going on or you know and just having that overly thankfulness mindset yeah um, I, 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 does that make kind, sense it does. you know what I'm trying to say no it absolutely does but I think it, it kind of a little bit ties to a conversation we had just the other day it's not a, it's not exactly parallel to it but it's pretty close but it's been this time of the year you mentioned that 20, was it 20 years ago you said that we were making the worst decision <laughs> at that point in time because we we were too shy or for whatever reason uh-huh. we weren't close enough friends yet we weren't dating yet but you were like we're making a terrible decision because we didn't go to prom together yeah. and you know we knew each other and we kind of liked each other yeah. but we we hadn't been on any dates or anything yet and we both went to prom with different people our junior year and you said that that was the worst decision we ever made I said I don't know that it was <laughs> because it ended up working out in the end. You know, had had we went to prom together, maybe it would have been like, Man, I don't really like him. He's a dork. All he talked about was fishing the whole time. That, that was after like our third date. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the first time. <laughs> but, but that was, you know, I mean, that, you know, it, it may not have worked out for whatever reason. I know, so. but my mindset was just like, well, we could have had six more months longer. Exactly. And maybe we would have. Maybe. Maybe not. But I don't know. But. <laughs> We didn't, and and it still worked out. So I think that it does kind of work that way, is that exactly what you're talking about. Always, whatever the situation is, looking at it and saying, God has a purpose for this. God has a reason for this. And and through that, that is worshiping Him. Just knowing that, you know, for whatever reason, why we're at, where we're at, mm-hmm. is because that's where He wants us. Yeah, and and that's kind of, that's, that actually does kind of roll right into this. It's, we worship our worship, like what we've said before, is it's not pra- it's different from praise. Our worship mm-hmm. is because of who God is, mm-hmm. and and because of His om- omnipotent and om- omniscience, <laughs> um, you know, which are which are great because we actually have those in our notes here that we've discussed yeah. before. But um, you know, His 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 ability to be all powerful and all knowing, you know, He He knew that, and and I look at that just specifically in that situation of us not going to prom together just because of the time of the year that it is. So. I, I think he was all knowing and all powerful in that. that <laughs> there was a reason we didn't. I, I believe that completely. Yeah. Yep. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking about. That's going to problem now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so uh, to kind of wrap it up, before we get to, is um, we've got a quote here of just kind of how, I mean, the the privilege that we have to worship absolutely um and i don't what do you think that's aw tozer yeah maybe aw tozer Mm -hmm. um said the heart that knows god can find god anywhere a person filled with the spirit of god a person who has met god in a living encounter can know the joy of worshiping him Mm -hmm. whether in the silences of life or in the storms of life um you know just i mean what a great way to kind of sum it all up yeah um, yeah it really is because that's we found ourselves in great times mm-hmm. you know worshiping god being thankful for god and in times that weren't so mm-hmm. much yeah um you know and that's and even in the stillness like i feel like there's so much in between time you yeah. know it's to not forget to you know worship god even in the in the calmness this, of life, yeah, like yeah. I mean, it's you well, what know, is, what is that? I don't, I don't know. I was trying to think. I don't know what calmness of life is. But, but in, in between major events, you know, yes, I mean, whatever those are, yeah, yes. just your normal everyday routine to be, yeah. to be thankful and to be, uh, be yeah. worshiping, and, and to make sure that you've <clears throat> got your mindset in a you know place of worship. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's easy. I mean, I know for us right now, we are in the thick of kids and sports and life and you know Ott's career is you know just busy yeah um so I think it's easy to kind of just be distracted by everything else and you know what nothing more with the devil love than mm-hmm. for us to be very distracted <laughs> yeah. um but there's also so much goodness in it and 
you know, finding those moments of that yeah. and, you know, really focusing. Yep. No doubt about it. Um, <clears throat> All right. So then you want to wrap that up? Yeah, I think okay. so. I think so. Yeah, we uh, we appreciate you all watching, and uh, and it's definitely a yeah. been, been a Gosh, good. And night. I think it's been. I think we're at a year mark somewhere starting to film oh, these. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. Right? That's about right. I have to look back. Jake will have, we'll have to look back and see. One year anniversary. But I, it's yeah. close. It was like either March or April. I think That's that right. we started filming these. So sure um, we've made it a year. <laughs> That's pretty good. High five, Jay. <clears throat> yep. Um, so we'll read the Bible verses again. Yep. Okay. Uh, so Leviticus twenty-six, one. The Lord commands. Uh, it's the Lord commanding the children. Okay. I messed that up again. You did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, He's commanding the children of Israel not to make idols or set up an image or sacred stone for yourselves, and do not place a carved stone in your land to bow down before it. I am the Lord your God. <laughs> And then in Exodus 34, 14, do not worship any other God for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. So make sure yep. that you are only worshiping only the, one, one. the one true God. So. <laughs> yep, and join us next month. Well, of course, next week will be alive. Yep. Uh, I don't know if we're together or not at this point. No idea. I don't think we are. Um, but um, the word for May mm -hmm. is honor. Honor. So that should be interesting yeah. um i think some other days should be in there somewhere yeah. um maybe we'll get the kids back on here i'm sure they'd love nothing more than to <laughs> take over oh yeah they would, they would love that at least for an episode of yeah. honoring their mother so mm. that'd be wonderful they've got some work to do <laughs> i've not been a great role model in that <laughs> regard so not much i can say there yeah. but uh but yeah thank you all for watching and we will uh we'll see you soon yeah. <laughs>